New legislation about wakeboarding and wake surging is now on the Georgia law books. WLB News 10's Gabrielle Tay tells us about these new laws, what they mean for your summer fun. With the new legislation, wakeboarders will now have to remain 200 feet away from any dock or structure. And Georgia DNR law enforcement officers tell me this is so everyone can remain safe. We've had people get knocked off of docks. We've had some damage to shorelines, and mainly that is from uh, just too close to the shore. This was just a attempt to try to allow the activity, but to allow it safely while providing protection for property owners and safety uh, on the water and docks. This new regulation will go into effect July 1st, along with a few other rules. The law states wakeboarders and wake surfers must wear a U.S. Coast Guard approved life jacket at all times while participating in these activities. There is also no wakeboarding or wake surfing between sunset and sunrise. These regulations are for state waters. They don't cover private ponds, private lakes, or the rivers. We want, to, want people to be mindful of other operators out there on the water might not be as experienced as you, and, the, and there, are no, there are no traffic traffic lines or, or speed limits out there on the water. So we want to make sure that everybody's being safe, being observant. White says there are many violations on the water when it comes to these activities. For either someone towing a skier without a mirror or an observer. We also see them um, skiing after hours or wake surfing after hours, maybe a little bit later into the evening. Coming up on WALB News 10 at 6, I'll tell you more violations law enforcement officers see, as well as how to stay safe on the water. Gabrielle Tate, WALB, your hometown news source.